Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here just outside of Atlanta, Georgia and we're getting ready to take you guys along with us to the Dwarf House. The Dwarf House. the founder of Chick-fil-A and you can see the original dwarf house building right here in the background so as you walk into the dwarf house there's actually two options over here to the right is the standard traditional Chick-fil-A and you can see it's just a very basic menu just like you would get anywhere else and then over here to the left you can see they actually have a sit-down diner to the left, which is what we're gonna go to. And there are seven dwarfs actually all around this restaurant. And the boys are on the hunt to find all seven. There's one. Oh, you can see back in the kitchen. That's pretty cool. Gentry noticed that there is a small door over here. You gotta go open it, Gentry. You wanna go open it? We've gotta know what's inside. Oh, there you go, number two. All right, so here is a look at the Dwarf House menu. They actually have appetizers here at this Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. Battered pickles, they also have Chick-fil-A waffle fries loaded, as you'll see there. One thing that is a little different here, check this out, they have cheeseburgers on the menu, which we read an article about this place and that was kind of our draw, was we had to try those places. The only Chick-fil-A location that serves cheeseburgers. Down here, they also have sides that are unique, such as the, the kale crunch, crispy Brussels sprouts up here. There's also fried okra. And one thing that I'm very excited about is the coleslaw, because that was one of my favorite sides until they took it off the menu years ago. Down here, they have soups, salads, and more. And Jennifer's gonna get a hot brown with, instead of a side salad, she went with the Brussels sprouts. All right, Jennifer, what did you end up getting to drink there? I got one of mine and Henry's favorites, which is the Sunjoy. It's their lemonade and sweet tea. Nice. And I got their cherry Coke. One thing I've never seen at a Chick-fil-A is they actually put real cherries in here. So that's pretty cool and an additional extra nice touch here at the Dwarf House. All right, Jennifer, what did you end up getting there? I got the hot brown and it has chopped chicken with like a cream cheese uh, and cheddar sauce paprika and cheddar on top and bacon. And then it comes with the side salad, but I wanted to try something different. So I got the crispy Brussels sprouts. All right, and Henry. I got chicken and honey mustard and fries. Looks good. And I'm very excited. I got a Chick-fil-A cheeseburger. And as you can see, there's two patties on here, with lettuce, tomatoes, there's some pickles. Right here, we've got some fried okra. And I'm very excited about this Chick-fil-A coleslaw because it's the only place, the only Chick-fil-A, I should say, in the United States where you can still order the famous Chick-fil-A coleslaw. What are you gonna try there first, Jennifer? I'm gonna try the chicken hot brown. And as you can see, it's steaming hot. That's really tasty. Um, it's very similar to an Alfredo, but not with Parmesan, if that makes any sense. Um, there's like different cheeses, but it has a consistency of an Alfredo, and it's that. very tasty. I really like the all the different kinds of cheeses in there, and then you've got like that good Chick-fil-A grilled chicken that uh, we all know and love, and it has that good marinade on there. So Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite vegetables since I was little. So um, 
when I see that on a menu, I like to try the different kinds there, but it looks like these are the crispy kind. Very good, they're um, sauteed. They're not really like seasoned, but I like the natural flavor of the Brussels sprouts. So that's like a good thing for me, and I don't like things that are way too salty. And so if you did want to add some salt and pepper or anything like that, you can, but they don't really need it. All right, Brent, what are you going to try first? I think that's going to be the most difficult decision of this meal, is to determine which one I'm going to go in for first. I think I'm going to go over here and make it easy and just try some of the fried okra. Um, I can see some pepper on the outside of this, the breading here. Here we go. I'm actually pretty impressed with this because honestly going in thinking, okay, well, it's Chick-fil-A. They don't really specialize in fried okra. It's the only place where you can get it. It's just going to be your basic standard okra. But they have actually very intentionally put something very good in, in the seasoning and the breading here. Um, it's kind of unique in my opinion where it's a very sweet batter and very, very delicious. Is it kind of like their batter that they use for their fried chicken sandwiches and their nuggies? It very, or is well, it different? Could, it very well could be. It awesome. very, because it kind of has that pickled brine taste to it. And I kind of get a hint or, or a sense of that a little bit in that bite. It's, it's, it's that sweetness and very good. So I'm going to, without any ketchup uh, or mustard or mayonnaise, I'm gonna try this burger here. I just want to show that again. Double patty. So I did not realize there are onions on here. So, uh, which I love onions on a burger. I don't know what to compare it to as far as like other restaurants where you get burgers. Um, it's not your standard tip. It's not like something you would get at McDonald's by any means or any stretch of the imagination. But it's also not like a gourmet burger. So I'd say it's just a very middle of the road average burger, but where else can you find a burger at a Chick-fil-A? Last but not least, I'm very excited about this. It has been, I don't even know when they retired it from Chick-fil-A, but it was a very sad day for me because this was the only thing that I got. I'm not a big fry fan. Uh, I know they have macaroni on the menu, but I'm, macaroni's okay, but when I'm at Chick-fil-A, it's, you know, I want coleslaw. <laughs> so here we go, look, look, look at all that juice from the coleslaw down there, look at that. And it's just like the last day that I had it. It brings you right back. It's outstanding. All right, Gentry, you've had an opportunity to dig into the chicken and waffles there. What are your thoughts? I wanted to point out first that uh, I was eating my chicken and I saw this. Oh, uh, yeah. Little well, Chick-fil-A logo. Yeah. How does it taste? Really good. You should definitely get it. So I got to say the fries was good. It was just like it had stone on it. Um, so the sweet tea is good. If you come here, then you will get a fresh um, fries. Oh, you want to get the french fries if you come here, right? You're recommending the french fries. Oh, yeah, I'd be coming. And it looks like you ate all of your chicken, so I'm thinking that, that was very good as well, right? Right, here is our final bill for the burger platter hot brown Chick-fil-A kids meal as well as Gentry's waffle meal came out to a grand total of $63.02. That was Chick-fil-A's Dwarf House. Henry, what you think about your food at the Dwarf House, buddy? All right, and Gentry. So, if you ever come to the Dwarf House, you will definitely get full. I can t just tell you, if you come to any other Chick-fil-A, this is the best Chick-fil-A you can ever go to. You can't find chicken and waffles anywhere else, right? Yes. How were those chicken and waffles? Great. I would definitely recommend it. All right, and Jennifer. I thought it was a really cool experience. Um, I really liked all the different aspects of the, of the dwarfs, and the boys really had fun looking for those. We liked going in through the dwarf door and everything. Um, and the food was really cool and unique also. When it comes to the cheeseburger, it was okay. There's a reason Chick-fil-A is known for chicken and not cheeseburgers, I'll say that. Uh, the okra was fantastic, the seasoning on the breading, 
phenomenal. Uh, and of course that coleslaw, if you've ever had Chick-fil-A's coleslaw, you know that it is fantastic. Hey guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Hapeville, Georgia at the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. If you enjoyed Chick-fil-A, we've got a big surprise for you on our next episode. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on that episode of Every Day is Saturday. So this is called Truett's Wagon, and you can see there's actual ice cold Coca-Cola in here. And this is paying tribute to Truett Cathy, the founder of Chick-fil-A, who back in 1929 started his entrepreneurial spirit by selling bottled Coca-Cola from a wagon. Right here is Zelma's Pie Shop. You can see they have chocolate, lemon meringue, coconut. They also have milkshakes. And you can even get some ice cold Coca-Cola. And it's right here inside the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. So when it comes to the Chick-fil-A logo, you'll notice that the A is capitalized. And of course, there's a reason for that. Obviously, it looks really nice with the symmetry, having the large capitalized A at the end. But when Chick-fil-A was first founded, having grade A meat was very important to consumers. And of course, this capitalized A signified the most quality and highest grade of chicken that you could possibly buy. So the reason this is called the Dwarf House is right here at the original restaurant. This used to be just a very small building. And so they called it the Dwarf House to represent how small of a restaurant it was. And of course, it was at this location where they created the famous Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. And this mural right here kind of represents the changes of the Dwarf House from 1946, the very small restaurant where Truett Cathy first began. Over here is 1957, and over here is 1967. Closer form to the Dwarf House that we see today with a little bit more expansion in today's day and age. And here is the current Dwarf House, which was ultimately added on in 2022 to its current form today. And by the way, they also have the drive-through, the double drive-through with employees ready to serve you and say it's their pleasure to do so as you go through the line. It's a, it's a playground full of waffle fries, pickles, and lemons. There's a couple of lemons there. So it was on this very spot right here where Truett Cathy and his brother Ben opened the Dwarf Grill, which was named for its small size. It had four booths and 10 countertop stools. And here is a Georgia Historical Society marker right outside of the current Dwarf House. Found another one? How many is this now? Uh, five. Five. I found a dot. You found another one? Yeah. <laughs> All it was right. right here. I couldn't find it. So let's have a little drink. I think that's the sixth. Yeah, here. Lily, here. Gentry, if you had to guess, what do you think he's drinking? Maybe a Sunjoy? Cherry Coke? Coke. 